Hello there, Dr. Gary Rademacher from Downtowns Healthcare, and I wanted to go over opioid use in our country. It is literally killing us. If you look at the caption, 5% of the world's population, that's what the United States makes up, is 5% of the world's population, but we take 90% of the opioids. Unbelievable. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, my team and I have gotten to a point where we feel that we need to start giving you and your loved ones more information regarding the opioid crisis. This week, I want to start with information I saw from the National Institute of Drug Abuse. I'll have the link below that you can click on to read it more. But uh, to hit the high points, every day, more than 115 people in the United States die after overdosing on opioids. According to NIH, quote, this is a serious national crisis that affects public health as well as social and economic welfare. Quote, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that the total economic burden of prescription opioid misuse alone in the United States is $78.5 billion a year, including the cost of health care, lost productivity, addiction, treatment, and criminal justice involvement. According to the NIH, the bullet points here are roughly 21 to 29% of patients prescribed opioids for chronic pain misuse them. Between 8 and 12% develop an opioid use disorder. An estimated 4 to 6% who misuse prescription opioids transition to heroin. About 80% of people who use heroin first misuse prescription opioids. I gotta say that again 80% of people who use heroin first misuse prescription opioids. Opioid overdoses increased 30% from July 2016 through September 2017 in 52 areas in 45 states. The Midwestern region saw opioid overdoses increase 70% from July 2016 through September 2017. Opioid overdoses in large cities increased by 54% in 16 states. These, these studies and stats are appalling. What is NIH doing about it? So let's look at what they're doing. Number one, improving access to treatment and recovery services. Two, promoting use of overdose reversing drugs. Three, strengthening our understanding of the epidemic through better public health surveillance. Four, providing support for cutting edge research on pain addiction. And five, advancing better practices for pain management. I don't know about you, there's some problems with this. Number one, general practitioners are trained to give a drug for physical problems. People in general have been brainwashed to think that a chemical can fix a physical problem. You know, if you have back pain, for instance, which is the second reason why someone goes to the, to the doctor, to their MD, uh, it's a physical problem 80% of the time. But yet we're medicating people who have a physical problem. Last I checked, we need physical solutions like what Downtown's Healthcare provides. In this article, I see more money going into how to improve access to treatment, new medications, and reversal interventions for those who have overdose. They're not going to physical therapists, chiropractic offices, physical medicine offices, uh, acupuncturists who actually deal with physical problems. Let's take a step back. Like I gave you the example earlier on low back pain. Emergency rooms and general practitioners is the number two reason why people go to them in the first place for low back pain. 80% of low back pain is biomechanical problem. It's not anatomical, meaning it's not infection, tumors, it's not a fracture, uh, you know. So uh, yeah, it's the first line of treatment is drugs. We give a prescription. That's the major problem that we have right now is we have to re-educate our medical providers. We've got to actually start treating people as people and actually treat with physical solutions. I'd like to invite you to learn more about Downtown Healthcare. We offer solutions to pain that does not include drugs or surgery. Call our office to schedule a consultation screening at 303-292-9992. Click the link below for more information and go, or, go, or schedule a time to get checked out. We need your help. Forward this email to your friends and family. Help us help others. If you know of someone we can possibly help, send this email to them and they can click on the link below to get more information or schedule a free consultation. Thank you so much. Uh, again, thank you for uh, trusting us in your, with your health. We look forward to serving you more in the future. If you have any questions, again, I'm Dr. Gary. Call me at 303-292-9992.